How you doing? This is Brother T. If you want to support the channel, we have t-shirts and other merch right there in the description. Just hit the link. You were a star child. Let your light shine for all the world. When you open your mouth to reveal a pearl, let it shine more just to light the path. If it don't add up, man, just do the math. If it ain't for you, let it pass on through. How you doing? This is Terry Guy Wilson, aka your boy Brother T, here with another one. So we have a great episode for you today. Before we get into it, though, I need you to like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, you know, know why I want you to like and subscribe, then I want you to do it because we can continue to give you these pine cones of wisdom. If you don't know what a pine cone of wisdom is, just stick around and stay on the channel. You'll get it. So today we're gonna show you, well, we're just gonna talk about mm, how to forgive but not forget, right? <laughs> and I know a lot of people that, well, I would probably venture to say that everybody on the earth have been trespassed in some kind of way. People are gonna, they're gonna talk about you. They're gonna treat you bold. They're gonna treat you mean. Sometimes you don't know why they're doing it. A lot of times you do know why they're doing it. And it just comes out of the blue sometimes. You get blindsided, you get backstabbed. I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna advise to you to forgive them. <laughs> and you said that's easier said than done, Brother T. Well, I have personal experiences as well and I've had to do it. So let's go. Forgive, don't forget. I'm gonna tell you that, hey, don't look at it as people doing things to you. All right, and I know that's hard to do, and I've had to do it myself. It's not easy. Um, instead of looking at them doing stuff to you, let's flip that, transmute it. Remember, transmutation is taking something from one form, changing it to another. They're not doing anything to you. Let's say they're doing things for you. Now, I know that's a difficult concept for some of you to grasp out there, but what I'm saying is, Take the lesson in what they did, right? You don't have to forget what they did. It's very important to always learn that lesson so you won't repeat it in the future. And when you see uh, red flags that, you know, that situation might be rearing its ugly head, once again, you can stamp it out easy and go to the next stage of life without making another pitfall because you've already seen that before, right? So let's start saying to ourselves, they're not doing that to me. They're doing it for me, right? And I want you to adopt that because it really works for your man, Brother T. It keeps me on a higher um, vibration. It keeps me on a higher plane of thinking so I can stay on the frequencies to attract the things that I want in life. Okay, so I also want you to know that most of these things don't have to elicit a response from you necessarily. You can forgive them without walking up to them and saying, hey, I forgive you. Just forgive them in silence sometimes because if you're dealing with a narcissist or somebody that loves to feed off your energy, when you come to them to apologize face to face, it's actually going to feed them and they'll actually cause more chaos in your life so they can keep feeding on you. They're like, think of it like a, a, a vampire, right? And you're just full of this delicious blood that they want to suck. And if you keep coming to them and giving them your energy, then they're just gonna keep doing things to you to keep you in balance. Now me talking about that, some of you out there are like, that's what that person is doing. Yes, that's what that person more than likely is doing. Energy vampires really exist. Narcissists really exist. And don't, when I say energy vampire, don't think spooky like they're flying around and I believe in that stuff. What I'm saying is that people feed off of energy. Now, things have a tendency to back balance themselves out in life. That's why I said you don't have to go to them face to face and forgive them. Forgive them in silence and you can just like cut off communications to them. Not because you're angry with them, but because you have stuff to do in your life. You have a higher purpose, a higher calling. If you get back to that higher purpose and that higher calling, you won't have time to be mad at somebody all day, <laughs> okay? You won't be uh, have time to be sad because somebody did this or did that for you. Right. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Change the la la uh, language. Now, 
um, as I said, never forget what they did. And this means learning the lesson. Always take the lesson. I like to harp on that. That's why I mention it so much. Take the lesson in everything you go through. Take the lesson in everything somebody does to you. You're gonna flip it. They did it for you. Well, let me talk about some of the lessons you can learn from these situations. Specifically, uh, these are lessons like loving yourself more, right? You might be in a situation or in like a, a relationship where you really didn't love yourself, you had low self-esteem. Maybe that's the reason why you even chose that person. You probably know in your heart of hearts that person doesn't fit your standard and they don't stand up to who you are, but you chose that person because you didn't think you could do better at the time. This really happens. So you might have to learn that lesson. In the universe, sometimes, a, you know, choreograph it where you'll pick that person with your low self-esteem thinking and that person will really do something later on to really hurt you to or to sabotage the relationship and have you in your feelings this is on purpose sometimes because you have to learn that lesson the universe keeps get telling you over and over again love yourself love yourself love yourself but you keep saying I'm not good enough you keep saying that there's something wrong with me I can't have this stuff and when that tragic thing happens yes it breaks your heart yes you have to go and shed a couple of tears yes you have to feel even worse than what, than what you were feeling about yourself but uh, mo most of the time we call that dark night of the soul right the, on the other side of that dark night of the soul if you learn the lesson you become a better person you become the you 2.0 you start picking better friends, you know? You start picking better mates overall, people that you wanna hang out with. And even if you don't end up being romantically involved with them, you'll find that even some of them that become friends, they'll just be better suited for you, right? We won't say better people necessarily, we'll just say better for you, right? And you'll learn how to be more open, right? but not too open with everybody you meet, right? You have to learn that lesson sometimes as well because if we let everybody know every little detail about us and we're dealing with an energy vampire or a narcissist, they are going to capitalize on that, right? And when they do that, take the lesson, get them out your life, forgive them. You don't have to do it face to face, remember? But don't forget what they did. All right. So for those who are always about love and I'm one of those people, my whole purpose on this life is to spread love. Now, I'm not doing it in a kumbaya way. I'm not doing it as a do anything to me. <laughs> I'm so weak and all this stuff. I'm doing it in a way of healing, helping you uh, heal from the inside out, helping you make better decisions in life. This is financially, spiritually, mentally, every aspect of your life. That's what I'm here for, I'm about love. And some of you out there, you are about love, spreading love as well. Now, you have a particular situation, me included, because I'm one of those people, I call myself a light worker. We draw narcissists <laughs> and people that try to use us quite frequently. So you have to be very careful. You know, you have to be care uh, very careful because with your light, a lot of things attract to light, right? So does darkness. So if somebody's thinking dark, they're gonna be attracted to your light as well, especially if they're trying to feed off the light. I hope this makes um, sense to some of you out there. If your light is bright enough, you are going to attract some undesirables. You, But, but it's up to you to weed out who is who. All right, by what they're doing and how they're doing it. Don't just take any kind of abuse. Stand up for yourself, love yourself. All right, now, another thing you might have to learn, because I had to learn this the hard way, even recent years, I had to learn that everybody is not on this earth to do good. Some people like to be in evil. Some of the people you know, some of the people you think you love, some of the people who you call boyfriend, girlfriend, some of the people that you call wife, husband, some of the people you might even call mother or father, they sometimes they just are evil people, right? Now, I'm not saying that they were born evil, but they, they might develop this trait 
or they might learn it from somewhere or it might come from a place of insecurity within themselves. But some people are here for that. So us as light workers, we have to be very cautious and very careful who we have around us. I want you to learn not to have uh, vendettas or revenge, all right? Because this keeps you in a lower vibration and the lower vibration that you keep yourself in, the closer you are to those narcissists and those, you know, uh, energy vampires and if you are close to them and you have them in your life they're gonna always be able to um, manipulate you to cause situations in your life we call them uh, tower moments where they're causing uh, pain and strife and then you look around and you don't even know it's them sometimes they'll do it behind your back right and uh, sometimes it's hard to spot who's doing it but if you really uh, take account step back and really assess your life, what's really going on, how this person acts when you're around them. Sometimes you'll hear things that are go going on behind your back. If you pay really close attention, you'll start to see little things develop. And like I said before, this could be people that you say you love. This could be your mother, your father, your cousin, your brother, your sister, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying don't love them. And I'm, I'm not saying don't have them in your life at all. What I'm saying is cut off constant communication if you know that they are energy vampires, narcissists, or people that are there to hurt you out of jealousy, out of rage, out of envy, or just because that's the way they are. All right, I want you to live your best life and I want you to leave it to the universe to bring those individuals the justice and the karma that they deserve. All right, it's not up to you. Now you can do that if you want, you can try to. But in my opinion, you don't want to try to get revenge on somebody and cause uh, bad karma or karma that you don't want for yourself, right? You don't want to take it upon yourself. The universe will balance things out if you believe in god out there if you're a christian then god will balance things out right it's all about you having a pure heart and once again i have to give this disclaimer when i when i'm talking about um a, a pure heart i'm not talking about being weak and letting people do slap you around that's not what i'm talking about when i said pure heart you always have good intentions you always want the best for people all right but this does not mean that you're a doormat all right so don't be a doormat out there this is your man brother t and i enjoy talking to you family i hope you enjoy me too day now if you really love the show i want you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button i want to stop and make sure that you know it doesn't matter how many people watch this platform we at t's life tree we are here to make an impact on the world we're here to change the community one video at a time we're here to start a movement we want people to live better we want people to prosper we want people to be in abundance doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter what race you are doesn't matter what size you are doesn't matter what color you are did I say that already I don't know it doesn't matter who you are is my point I want to make you live a more prosperous life I want you to have a bigger worldview I want you to see things from the other side sometimes just because we're different and have different points of view does not mean one is right and one is wrong it's just a different point of view We'll get into that on another episode. For now, I'm about to get out of here, family. I got stuff to do, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for stopping through. Peace. Oh, yeah. Forgive. Don't forget. <laughs>